Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scott here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to our house building project to create a master bathroom next to our master bedroom. So, in our last episode, we built a wondrous bedroom, and now we'll finish the bedroom that is accompanied to it. So, let's get this episode underway. <laughs> All right, welcome down to the main line, and let's get this episode underway. So, like I said, we worked on our bedroom in our last episode. We made a wondrous bed and very nicely designed room, nice and light and airy. But now we'll be moving on to the bathroom. So, I made a few modifications to our entryway. And when we came up here last time, it was a little bit compact right here. It was only one block wide. So I added an additional block of sandstone, and I pushed this post one block or two blocks over, I think. To kind of make it a little bit nicer, a little more airy in here, give a little bit more, um, less of kind of that tight feeling that it had down there. I think it adds a little bit to it. Okay, so here is our bedroom. So we have our nice carpet, we have our portraits on the wall, we have our bookcases and our day bed over here overlooking our great view out the window. And yeah, so I think this room came out pretty nice. We can just look out of this other window up here into our sugarcane forest. And yeah, so there's our bed. But now we'll be moving into our bathroom. So let's see where we need to start today. So I kind of chopped up the wall a little bit here to see what was above us. So we have our roof line here, so we cannot go any higher. So we have challenges. And the first challenge is that we have this wall that we can't really change. I wanted to do the bathroom in all courts, but unable to do so because of this wall, it would just look a little awkward to have the quartz blocks have one wall of this room be quartz, so we can't do that. So we're gonna have to keep it all birch for now. We'll do a floor and things like that to try to break up the birch wood, but that's our design challenge. And it's a very compact bathroom, so that's another challenge we have to deal with. But we'll overcome those challenges and we'll make an amazing bathroom. So the first thing we need to do is start working on our ceiling. Like we did for our master bedroom, we will start with the basics, the walls, floors, and ceilings, and then move on to the fancy stuff. Okay, so let's see, hmm, what are we doing here? So this is three high, so we need to do the same here. So we'll be right there, one, two, three, perfect. And start coming across here. So we'll just make the ceiling here. So there we go, perfect. And we'll come up there and lock on there. Hopefully we get these across here perfectly. Nice, there we go. Sometimes it's a little, I always get goofed up here when working, I always hit the Wrong side of the block, you know, get an upside down one. Very frustrating, very frustrating. Now this is a little awkward right here, so let's take that out and come across here like that. Okay, nice. And then we'll just go up here and start like that. Good, there we go. Almost across. Perfect. Good, all right, nice. Oh, that looks wonderful, very nice. All right, so let's just pop out here real quick, take a little look at that. Nice, everything came out well. Everything came out well. I'm gonna check one thing real quick. Oh, good, good. So we can do some lights up in the ceiling because we have enough room on this side to put some redstone. Good, perfect. All right, so now we need to look at our room as a whole and figure out how we wanna proportion this room. So the first thing I'm thinking is put the shower here. We're gonna put a shower here. So this is a small bathroom, nothing grand as the mother tree where we had a lot of room to spread out. But this will be the shower. Let's maybe do the sink here and we could do the bathroom here. Maybe we could cut into here and make a window like right there. So as you're, you know, you're on the, the toilet, you know, look out the window, pass the time. All right, good. So let's get out our blocks here and kind of cut this up a little bit. So let's say we go up here, we cut this open. Nice, nice, okay. Let's do the same on this side. Cut open here and good, good. Let's just do the same on the other side. So we're going one block over. So we're doing it right here, right there. Let's do the same on that side. Perfect, perfect. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good so far. I think we've got a good base for our room now that we have our proportions set. We know where the showers, the toilets, and the sinks are gonna go. Okay, good, so now we got that. And it appears there's a slime bouncing around somewhere outside. All right, there we go. I 
think we're going to bring this down one here. Let's bring that down. Bring the same on this side. Oh, can't reach. Yeah, let me get that. There we go. Did we make it? Nope, we did make it. We need one more block. Perfect. Okay. And let's see. Maybe we could do like a train. Let's see. Let's get out our glass here. And let's actually replace this for now. Hmm, let's see. Let's open this up a little bit. We don't want this to be all closed in. So maybe we could add a little bit of glass here. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. And let's add some up here. Now, if we put a whole block there, that might be a little... Mm, I don't know. I wonder if we could just do... Oh, I kind of like that. kind of like that, but let's try a half slab too, just to see what everything looks like. Hmm, kind of like the half slab. What do you guys think? Whole block, half slab, or stair step? I'm going to leave it like that for a little bit, see how that goes. Okay, so let's do the same on this side. So we want to mirror both sides. I think that will make it, uh, maybe make it look a little less small, and a little bit bigger if each side, you know, is proportioned. All right, good. Let's knock out that. Oh, this is that one where you got to reach way up. Oh, I'm so short. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Let's add that and that's step. Okay, good, good. I think that's starting to look pretty nice. Let's um, keep everything symmetrical and open this up too. And we'll put our glass paint. Whoop, whoa. Put our glass panes like that. Nice, nice. Okay, now we need to focus on our kind of the festive part of it, more of the fun part, really, adding some of the details to it. So now we have kind of the base down. We have the walls, the ceilings, the floors are down, but I think we could probably take these floors out and maybe put something in that's a little bit more interesting, maybe some some sandstone I was thinking for this room. When I was coming up with the ideas and getting the materials that I think we would need, I figured the sandstone I think will be the best fit for the room for color wise and it has the best some good options. I wanted to use the quartz blocks, you know, with 1.5 coming out and all. But we just did the bathroom in the glass cube with quartz. If you don't know what that video was, it was a live stream. We did to celebrate 15,000 subscribers recently. And I think that, that video came out, or I mean that bathroom came out well. And I wanted to try something a little bit different, so I didn't want to do the exact same thing. All right, but I do love those quartz blocks. Those things are awesome. And you know what's great about it is it, not only does the block come in, of course, the half slab stairs, but also some decorative blocks like the chiseled and the kind of pillar block. I'm not exactly sure what the exact name is, but anyway, it's still one of the best things Minecraft has added into the game, in my opinion, in quite some time. All right, perfect. There we go. Now we have a nice floor. Of course, you know, it's nice to have the sandstone being a stone if, you know, we spill all over the floor and stuff. Okay, good. Okay, now let's work on our sink area so the first things first let's put a cauldron down and check our inventory so we'll get out our sandstone materials so let's we'll grab those out of our inventory okay let's see let's see <laughs> let me get the dirt out of the way and let's put these here i like going with the kind of nice um what you might call it sides on these <laughs> like um, smooth sides and I like to put like a handle on there like it's a drawer. You pull it out. With the standard sandstone, you know, this one with the kind of crumbly sides, just looks like a crumbly block. But this has a nice smooth thing and this little line across there makes it look like you're pulling out a drawer or a shelf of some sort. Okay, so let's just fix our mistake there. And now we want to make a countertop. So we'll just remove that and we'll add there. Perfect, very nice. I wish we could have smooth half slabs, but we can't, but we'll just have to make do with what we have. All right, there we go, got that complete. So let's see here. Now let's move on to our mirror. So let's cut into here a little bit. And I was thinking when we were making that, I like to use ice for a mirror. I think it's being translucent and things of that nature. And I think it has the best fit for a mirror. So let's do four here like that. Perfect. I want to do a nice big mirror this time. Usually I just do two high blocks, you know, just like that. But I kind of want to do a little bit bigger. We had a little bit of space here and all. Good, good. Hmm. Next challenge is to make something on the sides. Something on the sides. So let's take out those blocks here. And we have some decorative blocks. We could do some smooth sand. We could do the crumbly sides. 
but that just looks a little odd. So let's take those back out. Let's see what else we have. So we have our smooth. So let's put that. We have our decorative ones. So let's see. Mm, that looks a little much. Let's try just a standard smooth on the bottom and a decorative on the top. I think we have enough. Yeah, yeah, we have three. So let's just do the same on this side. Nice, nice. I think that's good. Maybe we could make this be another set of imaginary drawers. Put some more handles on. So I like to put the handle on there like you're, you're opening it up. Nice, nice. I like that. I think that came out well. Okay, now let's move over to the shower. All right, so let's get these materials back out of our inventory and grab out some of our mechanical units. So let's see, make a little shower spout up there. And let's see, how about on and off and hot and cold. And there we go, that looks good. That looks good. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to do any decorative blocks back here. Let me put some torches up here, kind of jazz it up. So like I said at the beginning of this, it's we're really constrained on what kind of things we can do. We wanna stay within the same colors throughout the house, but you know, adding a little bit of color like the rug we did in the bedroom, but still going with the same colors throughout the house with the birch wood, keep things light and airy throughout the house. The problem is I would like to do the shower in another material, but this wall, goes out to our entryway area. So we're pretty much stuck with what we have here, but I think that looks nice, that looks nice. Let's see if there's any other little things we could do in here to jazz it up. Make a little soap trays over here, I guess. You know, put your soaps on there. All right, good. So let's move over here to the toilet and I need to get something and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Went and got our quartz. So let's start on our toilet. Okay, so let's pop on in here and start. So I like to build toilets like this. And especially now that the quartz have been implemented, we don't have to use up our iron. Oops, oh my gosh, I'm just making mistakes all over the place. Sometimes it is difficult to get this stair to cooperate how you want it, come on. There we go. All right, few mistakes, few mistakes there, but we got it. Okay, so this is my general design that I like to use throughout Scarland in any bathroom design. So we have the block down here, block up there, and then a half step, or I mean a stair step right there. So that's the design I like to go with. I know a lot of people are always saying do the cauldron design, but this is my kind of unique design for my videos. A lot of people do the cauldron design, but I like kind of like this, it's unique to my videos. Okay, there we go. So let's see what we could do. Let's get out our decorative materials. Let's grab out our pots, grab out our birch saplings, and let's see what we could do here. See if we can maybe add like a little shelf right here to put a plant, kind of add a little extra color to the room. There we go. Nice, I think that looks nice. Coming out there. Let's look inside our bathroom like now. Ooh, I like it, I like it a lot. I think we could even add maybe a little something over here. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do the portraits yet because I'm on 1.5 and at the moment there is portrait glitch that prevents us from doing so. But now we'll move on to our lighting. So I'm gonna do some lighting up here. And I think I'm going to put one right there and one right there. So let's grab out our lighting. So we'll grab out our redstone lights and there. And let's go on up. So I believe we have enough room to put a redstone torch right up here we saw earlier. And we'll just pop on down, place our lamp. There we go, perfect. And let's just build up like that. Put in a redstone torch. We actually need to go up one more. There we go. And going down. And voila. There we go. All right, so let's get rid of our scaffolding. And oops, we actually need to fill up our sink. There we go. Nice, now we have some light in here. We have a light over there. We'll probably save our extra redstone lamps for other places. It doesn't look like we really need it in there. And there we go, guys. We have our beautiful master bathroom complete. So let's make a quick little tour of here. So up here we have our, we do our washing in our hands. We can see ourselves in this mirror. I think it looks like a mirror. It's the best we can do in Minecraft at the moment. And over here we can wash off after a long day in the Scarland fields of operation. Over here, come over here, relieve ourselves, look out the window, look at our beautiful view out the window. And we'll put a 
portrait here eventually when the portrait glitch is resolved. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to head over to my Facebook page. We'll see you later. All right, so now we're in our house. And as you remember in our last episode, we worked on our chandelier and our ceiling design. And now we'll be working on our interior room work. So this is our room. As you can see, it's kind of a large room. We're gonna now split in half and create a bedroom to our right and a bathroom to our left.